A merry day in Pennsylvania one week from tomorrow. And tonight, the four contenders hoping to unseat Governor Tom Corbett gathered at Drexel University. Their debate was contentious and it had an unexpected surprise. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Quinones is live at Drexel to tell us more. Todd. Oh, Chris, that's right. Uh, after all is said and done tonight, perhaps it was the uh, uninvited speaker who made the most amount of noise. We can't fund our schools on a boom and bust industry. Excuse this me. Is a it was a 38 second rant on stage from a protester wanting a ban on fracking. That was the surprise of the evening. The protester was then escorted off the stage and out of the building at Drexel University. And while direct questions over environmental concerns about fracking weren't raised during the debate, the issue of taxing it was brought up. Rob McCord is proposing a 10% drillers tax that he would try to push through the legislature. If they're going to take that tough vote, they should take that tough vote to get a fair deal for the people of Pennsylvania, and they can do it without damaging job creation. Katie McGinty believes more fracking related jobs need to stop going to people who live out of state. What we need is to ensure our environment. We need to ensure public safety in this industrial activity, and then we need to insist that it's Pennsylvanians who get those jobs. Other issues like increased school funding and income disparity were at the center of the debate. We need to increase the minimum wage. We need to make sure women are paid fairly and as, as equally as men are. Uh, that's about family income as much as is women's income. With candidate Tom Wolf holding a commanding lead in most polls, McCord and Allison Schwartz spent time taking jabs at him, but the front runner mostly stayed on message. I think if we use politics right, it's about transforming lives. It's about pulling people, lifting them out of poverty into into to the middle class. And tonight's debate among the Democrats was the last before next Tuesday's primary. On the GOP side, Governor Tom Corbett is running unopposed. Reporting live tonight from Drexel University, Todd Quinones, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Todd, thank you very much. It was